Hi guys, welcome back to Just Card Rob and his hands in front of the camera. How you doing out there? Well, what are we doing today? Well, I don't know. But we'll do something. 170 subscribers. Can you believe that? 170 subscribers. That is awesome. Thank you guys. Thanks for your support. The channel appreciates it. I appreciate it. And, uh... We'll see what we're going to get to carve today. Okay, guys, I think we're going to try carving this little guy here today. That's right. One side's blocked out. We all know why. So, here we go. We're going to try carving this little guy in here today. So, get ready. This is cedar. He might not turn out so good. Uh... As I have stated in other videos, we get crap cedar in Michigan. And this is crap cedar. It's uh, it's really got a lot of chips coming out of it. So I don't know if this guy's even going to turn out. But if nothing else, you may learn some techniques for your carvings. So here we go. On with the noise machine. Ready? Okay, guys. Here we go with that noisy vacuum cleaner again. And this is what we're carving. We're using our nugget bit, which kind of looks like a stone, but it's actually a carbide bit. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going around the perimeter with this bit, and we are going to carve our image in deeper. Okay, what we've done with that one leg is we're cutting it back to make it look like it's in front of the other leg. We're making it uh, separating the legs so the one looks like it's behind the other as our guy is walking forward. So that's what we got going on there right now. And throughout this process, you'll see me change to a number of different bits and I'll let you know what they are as we go along, okay? And there we are again. We're just rounding stuff over to try giving it that uh, three-dimensional look. We're working the, the edges of the guy's body back and around, back and around. Doing a little undercut under the arm. Uh, as we move through this, you'll see us uh, going in, undercutting the beard, undercut, overcutting the shoulders, and that all that good stuff. And I'm just going to draw that line in there so I don't lose where the beard is. That's right. Your Dremel can be used as a pencil sharpener, too. So we got to get that point down a little bit to get a finer line in there. 
Okay. Yep. Just uh, darkening some of the lines up. And in some areas, this wood is so brittle and uh, chippy because of the grain is so wide that any vibration from uh, our machine will chip it out. Just showing you what we're doing there. Just kind of rounding things over. Now we're getting ready to change out our nugget bit. Um, it's a little bit too big for what we're doing. So we're changing over to a diamond flame burr bit. Diamond flame burr bit right there. Okay. And uh, we're going to get in there and start uh, using the tip of that bit to dig in deeper to get our three-dimensional thing flowing. And right there, we're separating. We're working around the, the glasses and the, the beard, the nose, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, this, this uh, cedar, even when you start getting into it deeper, you think that those, that loose uh, wood grain would hang on, but it doesn't. It just chips out. We got a couple big chips in our hat there that happened just as we were cutting it in it just it just flaked right out of there so we'll get back to the uh rounding things over with the diamond bit okay guys working on them
And this is one of these deals, guys. You have just got to take your time um, with this type of wood. So I would, I would highly suggest that unless you're doing this guy in like maybe 10 times bigger than what he is, um, or any, uh, you're going to carve any type of little guy or something with a lot of detail. Don't you see it or I know Jordy at Carbon Fusion uses a lot of cedar, but he gets a lot better cedar um, beachcombing than we get harvesting around here. So, yeah, if you're using store-bought cedar in the United States, um, it's okay for doing big things like Christmas trees or anything. I would say anything, uh, if you're going to carve something like 10 inches bigger, 10 inches, then you'd be all right. There he is. Now you can see the chips in the hat. And you can see we're bringing that face in. But we're going to end up uh, digging in deeper yet. So let's get after it. Okay guys, this is where we're going to call it it for the day. So, share, subscribe, like, uh, be awesome, carve something awesome. Just carve. And Just carve, guys. Day. Just carve. And we'll catch you on the and, next one. Uh, share, subscribe, and like. Thank you.